morning fellas we have just uh, finished doing our delivery up here in Eau Claire Wisconsin and we are going to go over to Portage Wisconsin and we will pick up our reload uh, it's probably going to take a while to get reloaded up there because we got windows and doors that we are picking up over there so, uh, yeah, so probably I will stop in uh, Black River Falls and uh, probably will get me an oil change done or at least I'll pick me up oil and then that way uh, whenever I get back next time at home, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm bringing my truck in anyways to get some stuff done. And then uh, I'll probably get oil changed then, but yeah, that's, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably probably wait till I get home and then get it done over there. At least just pick up the oil, and then at least I have the oil because uh, I started using synthetic oil there uh, last oil change. I put synthetic oil in, and uh, that's what I want to stick with because it seems like in winter time. Uh, County Road T C R D. The oil seems to perform a lot better. The oil seems to be, uh, I don't know, smoother. And uh, when the engine is really super cold, it seems to start better. When the engine uh, is cold, that synthetic oil seems to start. The engine uh, starts a lot better with that synthetic oil. You know? So I certainly want to do that, plus I drive uh, a lot more miles, uh, I drive twice as many miles as I do with the regular oil, so uh, in essence I calculated it all, all out, uh, I really don't spend that much more money, I, I pretty much even out, even out pretty much even, so uh, plus it's a lot better for the engine, so I figured may as well do that, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go pick up the oil and then when I get back home, I get oil change done and all that stuff and then at least we're good to go, you know? But, uh, Take the entrance to the right on WI-29 East. Yeah, I finished unloading the air a little bit ago and uh, I just wanted to tell you guys I was hauling peat moss and that peat moss is always sitting outside and uh, they load us outside as well so since you guys know we already have snow all the snow and everything is getting on the ground of the trailer and when they unload it or whatever they drive all over it you know and then it hardens like ice on the on the floor of the trailer and it's hard to get it off of there I couldn't I couldn't get all of it off of there but yeah, I guess it's just things we have to deal with, I suppose. Yeah, so uh, we'll keep on rolling. Continue Hopefully the uh, for six miles. snowstorm has passed. They were supposed to have a snowstorm here yesterday. And it is still light, light flurries here, but... Uh, so far, nothing to be worried about, you know, but it was a little bit slippery there uh, uh, last night and, uh, when we were driving. There was some spots where it was pretty slippery. But anyways, uh, we'll get going and we'll see what the day will bring us, you know. Hopefully we'll have a good day. Hopefully it won't take too long to, uh, to get reloaded, you know. We just finished doing our shopping tour up here in Black River Falls, Wisconsin at the uh, Walmart. Went and got me the synthetic oil and got some uh, Turn right on WI-54. Cleaning pro product for uh, my lady so she can clean the house good, you know. Oh, this pol it's actually polishing stuff to polish the hardwood flooring at our home and uh, the stuff that she likes they don't have it in Canada so they used
used to have it but no more so uh, but they still have it in Walmart in the US so I bought it here but, uh, so we did that and now we are back on the road going to go pick up my uh, loader hopefully I got quarter a, mile. Take the entrance to the right on miles to go. East. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the sun is starting to come out, so that's good. Yeah, we got our 12 gallons Take of the entrance uh, synthetic to the right oil. On east. Yeah, that should be good enough to change the oil. I got the uh, oil filter and the uh, diesel filters from the... Uh, Flying J just across the street. Spent a total of about 440 bucks altogether. But that's alright. That's what we gotta do in order to keep the truck rolling. We wanna keep the truck in good shape, that's what we gotta do. We gotta maintain it. And that's the way to do it. Buy good oil. Keep the maintenance up. And the truck shouldn't give you too many problems on the road, at least for the most part. I mean, you can still have problems, but continue on this of, road for 30 miles. You can still have any kind of electrical problems, you know. Uh, but uh, at least for the most part, uh, if you uh, keep the maintenance up on the truck, it shouldn't give you too many problems on the road. So that's what I'm always trying. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be at our pickup place probably in about an hour and a half. And we'll see how long that's going to take to get loaded up there. Because it's supposed to be uh, windows and doors, so... Oh, look at this guy, he shot himself a deer. Alright. Oh, I guess he mounts it in the back of the pickup like that. And he doesn't have to worry about the meat going bad, I guess. Because it's cold outside, so... Alrighty, it didn't take very long to get reloaded. We are done reloading. So now it's just a matter of going to go scale it. And then uh, we'll see if you're legal. Because I'm hauling glass. And glass is usually very heavy. So uh, we'll see how good they did on the loading part. I am a little worried that it's going to be on the heavy side, but hey, no way of knowing for sure until we scale it, right? Luckily for me, just down the road, there is a... Uh, West Wisconsin Street, WI-16, and then take the entrance to the right in 900 feet. There is a uh, patrol just down the road from and then here. Take the entrance oh. to the right in 900 feet. And then we'll go scale it up there. They have a cat scale up there. Mute my GPS. He just keeps on talking and talking. <laughs> Every time I want to film, eh? I talk and talk and talk away. But here we go. Let's go scale this thing and uh, we'll see how heavy we are. All right. We just finished uh, scaling our load. And I'm going to try and give you guys the numbers, if I can, you know. Here we go. We got 79,980 pounds on the first scale. And we are over on the drive axle by 1,200 pounds. So that's a good reason why you should always scale the load, you know. So I slide at my axle, trailer axle. I slide it a little bit forward. And here is the rescale. Got it all done, rescaled it. Now I'm only about 280 pounds over on the drives. And I do have the 400 pound weight exemption for my APU unit, so uh, I'm still good to go. So we'll leave it like that. And uh, hey, I mean, I got 100 pounds left on the 80,000 mark, so that is calling it real close. But hey, I'm gonna go grab me a bite to eat here now, so we'll be back later. All right, we have made it to the Michigan-Indiana border. Here we got a rest area right uh, right across the border. And that's where I'm gonna be spending the night. So we picked up our uh, load of glass today. 
and uh, yeah as you guys probably saw already uh, it was a little heavy 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 but uh, hey we still made it uh, with under 80,000 pounds that's all that matters right well I guess I can go a little heavier because I got the AP in it but uh, we still made it in the, in the legal uh, legal measurements there you know so uh, but uh, yeah so I've been having a good day everything has been going good so far so uh, with that we'll uh, call it a day and guess what we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.